Good morning, good morning, and happy Monday. The weekend is over, and there's a new start to the week, and God has given us a beautiful opportunity to live, right? It's another Monday. We have another week ahead of us. Um, you know, Thanksgiving is just around the corner. Can you believe it? It's coming extremely fast. I am sorry that I am just a few minutes late. I cannot get my phone to connect like I usually do to show you my journal page. Um, so I'm just going to have to hold it up and show you. So yesterday's journal pages uh, were from Psalm 116, 17. And it was um, uh, David thanking God for delivering him and rescuing him after he had sinned. So um, I just did a little picture. I just put the words um, with a little bit of a design on there. Um, so it's nothing, nothing major. But I wrote about the fact that David and so many others learned lessons the hard way in life. Because when we run away, <laughs> when we run away from God and, and run, try to run away from ourselves, um, it only ends up in heartache and disaster, doesn't it? Okay, so let's see here. I want to make sure I'm in the right group. Um, yep, it came up. Okay, all right. So, uh, good morning. I see we've got a couple people on this morning. Let me know who's here today. All righty. So, good morning, Karen. How are you? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's just a. It's just what I did in Canva. Just a couple little uh, little leaves is is what I ended up doing. See if you can see that a little bit better. So, because I wanted it to match, because today's um, picture is um, is this one, and this is in the Draw Near Daily. So, I wanted to um, have something that kind of matched that. So, I have that ready. Okay, so today's scripture. Today's scripture is um, 1 Chronicles 16, 8, and it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples. So this is the story of how David was crowned king of Israel, and the first thing he did was to establish a relationship with the Lord. The Ark of the Covenant had been captured by the Philistines during the reign of Saul, and it was time to bring it back to Jerusalem. So the Ark, which uh, the Ark of the Covenant is the place where the presence of God rested. So David was so excited about this that he called together this great assembly from all the tribes. And he said, if it seems good to you and if it's the will of the Lord of our God, let us send word far and wide to the rest of our brothers throughout the territories and to the priests and the Levites um, to come and join us. Let us bring back the ark of our God to us, for we did not inquire of it during the reign of Saul. So that's exactly what they did. And boy, what a party they had. <laughs> there was dancing and music and singing and praising gods. And this verse in 16.8 in, uh, is part of the song that David composed, probably on the spot. He was so filled with the spirit that he didn't even care what anybody else thought. He just wanted to sing his praises to God. <clears throat> Excuse me. How many times have you had good news to share and you are bursting at the seams to let somebody know about it and you were asked to keep it a secret, but you're just smiling so much that people start asking, okay, what's going on here? And then you're finally allowed to share your news and it just comes spilling out. The whole story. I was excited. You know, sometimes there's cases where this happens. Uh, for me, the last time this happened was when my second, my oldest daughter told us that she was pregnant. Just like the first one, daughter, we're asked to wait a little bit to spare, share that news. But you just get so excited, you want to tell everybody. And then finally, when you're able to tell, you just spew it out like crazy because you're so excited. I'm sure you've had instances like that too, where there's something happens in your life and you just can't wait to tell everybody. Maybe it's a new car or a job or a house or whatever, but it was something that you were so excited about, you could not wait to let everybody know. Wouldn't it be awesome if we got that excited over things that God's done for us? What kind of good news has God brought in your life? Has he made a situation turn around in your life or Maybe he's giving you food to eat or a place to stay when things are looking bleak. The next time something really, really good happens in your life, or maybe even just a little bit good, 
How about we praise God for it and tell everyone what God has done in your life? Maybe we could even dance and sing a little bit. What do you think? <laughs> so let's praise God at all times, guys. Anytime something amazing happens, anytime something good happens in your life, there is always something for us to be thankful about, isn't there? Always. You can say the sun is shining, the, it's beautiful outside, or it's raining, and that's good news too. There's always something to be thankful about. So let's share it. Let's share it with others and let them know how thankful we are for having God in our life. Good morning, Melinda. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're watching this on replay, type in replay and make sure you heart the video so we know that uh, you have watched it. And we will see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.